At least 42 business premises in areas of huge amounts were disconnected, while seven were found with illegal connections. Head of Water and Sanitation at the Rundu Town Council, Iglesias Maruta, leads the operation which is expected to reverse the town's water crisis. Maruta says of the 15,000 water accounts on the town's database, only 5,000 are active and paid up. 10,000 plus accounts are not, are, not, are not coming forth to make payment. Largely, this is due to illegal connections because people are reluctant because they are getting free water, which then disables the council to generate enough revenue for us to pay NAM water, our source of supply. He says this shows that thousands of Rundu residents, businesses and institutions were either illegally connected or found in arrears. Maruta says council charges a $10,000 penalty plus a $5,000 per day charge backdated when the water was disconnected. Yes, so far we discovered that there's quite a number of uh, businesses that are operating with illegal water. In town we have quite a number of businesses that we have disconnected already that have been operating for years without any motor meter. Yes, in fact even our police station, here by the old police station, there has been no water meter there for years. Rondo Chief Executive Officer Olavi Nathanael warned that the town would leave no stone unturned in its quest to address the water crisis. Nathaniel says five teams of artisans are inspecting water meters and connections in various suburbs. The water crisis continues at Rundu as steps run dry almost on a daily basis and without notice. Chris Kupulo, NBC News.